Hey, what is up everybody? Today in this video I'm going to teach you 5 ways you can do this grimmer on your Android phone. All you need is Android phone, any Android phone, and uh, a TV with Wi-Fi connection, and a Wi-Fi connection. That's it. Okay everybody, on your uh, menu, just go to the settings, and go to the network settings. And just turn on the built-in wireless LAN. That's a Wi-Fi connection. So, and by the way, uh, if you're doing this for the first time, just make sure you have uh, set up the network by entering your Wi-Fi password and stuff like that. Uh, you can uh, leave it, leave the Wi-Fi direct option as it is, because uh, yeah, we will turn it on later on this video. Once the Wi-Fi connection is uh, working and enabled on your TV just to make sure you can uh, you know you can use Netflix or YouTube just to make sure the Wi-Fi connection on your TV is working fine okay everybody number five is the app called all the screen Let me just... okay so the all the screen app is pretty simple now just make sure your phone and your TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network and you can get this app for free and by the way if you're thinking that these guys are sponsoring me or anything don't worry about it I am using this app currently I'm not getting paid or anything go ahead and open the app when you open the app it will it will show you this screen okay this screen will tell you that uh, you can uh, screamer your uh, f uh, photos your audio files and even you have even even videos if you have on your phone okay so go ahead and click audio or maybe you can just you want to uh, see some pictures you can just go to gallery let me just uh, open up a picture better when you click on some file it will it will show you that uh, do you want to cost cost that photo to your TV now just make sure that's the exact same model as your TV's model now that is indeed my TV so what I'm gonna do is to I'm gonna just click on it and uh, it will uh, it will cost that picture to my TV okay so uh, the song right now playing should be accents uh, all alone and you can see that's the song on TV right there see now you can play with this app I'm pretty sure it's the best app, best app if you don't have a screen mirroring feature on your uh, phone or you just want to listen to some music that's it okay guys now jumping on to number four that's gotta be a YouTube app now if you're wondering that what's what's a YouTube app gonna do it's pretty simple when you open a YouTube and you can uh, let me just type a video okay guys all right uh, when you open a YouTube app, it will show you this uh, this screen mirroring icon on the top. But you don't have to do it. When you ever, whenever you play a video, like for example, this is a video I want to play, you can just go ahead and click that icon on the top. Let me just show you again. Okay, so uh, okay, so this is the video I want to play on the TV, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click that screen mirroring icon on the top there. Okay. So it's gonna go ahead. Yep, see, that's gonna connect to my TV, and you can see that's a that's a sign of connecting, right? Because a black screen now, and it's connecting to my TV right now. See, it all it automatically opens up the YouTube channel. I mean, YouTube app to play that video. See. It's loading right now. See, like I told you, it's working. So yeah, that's it. That's number four. Okay, guys, coming back to number three, it's the Chromecast. Now, if you if you have of this, per, if you don't have a smart TV, or if you don't have Wi-Fi connection on your TV, or maybe if you don't have a YouTube app on your TV, you can always go ahead, go and buy this Chromecast from Google. It's a it's it's a it's a HDMI dongle that will make your TV smart like make your simple TV into a uh, smart TV like literally smart TV okay everybody uh, number two would be the smart view app and uh, yeah well it's for Samsung users so if you are a Samsung user 
you can always use this app on your phone and it will automatically connect your phone to your TV without doing anything so I'm not a Samsung user because this is a LG phone and that TV is a Sony TV so that's why now to enable this feature is pretty simple just make sure your Wi-Fi connection is enabled on your TV and just go to the connected settings and there you see the screen mirroring option and when you click on it it will automatically opens up a hotspot connection to connect to your um, cell phone like for example I'm gonna do this right now okay so here's a quick tip for uh, if you are a user of Samsung phones right now I'm using an LG phone so if I'm gonna if I'm an LG user so let's go to settings just go to the settings and uh, once in the settings go to the share and connect option and there you will see the mirror cost feature now that's the screen mirroring feature but LG, LG likes to call it mirror cost and by the way just turn it on and wait a second okay just turn it on and it will search for the connected devices okay see that's my TV and if you are a Samsung user you can always just uh, drop the notification panel and click click on the top right corner that's gonna expand your notification panel and under notification panel you should be able to see a feature called screen mirroring if you are a Samsung user and if you are other phones user you can always just go to the settings and find the screen mirroring feature by using search option or anything okay now when you see your TV just go ahead and click and it will automatically start connecting your TV see that's what that's what I was talking about so that is it for this video guys if you if you really enjoyed this video please subscribe for more and yeah that's it I will be uploading more schoolmer related videos um, every Friday Saturday Sunday so if you have any queries just comment down below and I will surely uh, help you out thank you so much for watching guys peace out